Welcome back to Let's Lose. We're playing Dynasty Warriors 4. Dynasty Warriors I'm playing Warriors. Dynasty Warriors 4. Uh, we're going to try and do something a little different. Do some beat em up this time. And we're going to start a new game. Dynasty Warriors 4. Um, I'm going to play the Shoe Kingdom. Um, and I, yeah. We're going Shoe. I think I've only ever played these once. One of them. Really? Ever. Okay. Yeah. Not that I didn't enjoy it, it was just... I've been into these games since Dynasty Warriors 2. I've played the Romance of the Three Kingdoms games. I'm into this fucking series. Yeah, you like that whole thing, though. The Romance this is, of the yeah, Kingdoms. this is Koei's bread and butter. Um, and I fucking love it. So we're going to start off, uh, the year is, what year is it, one, 180, or to like 112 or something like that? Really, it's just one dude and you're taking down an army. Well, you play as one guy in an army, taking down, well, trying to help help your army fight another army. Um, I'm going to be playing as Zhao Yun, this level, uh -huh. who's probably one of my favorite characters in this whole series. <coughs> Uh, he's like the poster boy of this, of Dynasty Warriors. Okay. Uh, he's a fucking badass, really. Uh, he works for the Shoe Kingdom, which is led by Liu Bei. Uh, the Shoe Kingdom, they're kind of, in the games, they're kind of like the good guys. Uh, you also have the Wu Kingdom, which is led by the Sun family. And you have the Wei Kingdom, which is led by Cao Cao. And there is or, like a there is like a good and bad in this. Well, not necessarily. They they make them come off more like a good and bad. Like right now, this is like these were the first battles in uh, the romance series, the stories, um, the Yellow Turban Rebellion, and essentially what it was, uh, a guy named Zhuge. Not Zhuge Leon. Uh, some some fucking radical guy came out, and the whole the whole all of China was in a fucking dire straits. So this okay. fucker came along, and he he was basically telling people he was a magician, and that they could overrule the government and all this shit. <clears throat> um, and he basically got all these. He built his own built an army out of basically they're terrorists yeah and they tried to take over China um what the fuck is his name well we'll find out after this battle so the game's pretty simple uh anybody with red above their head is that's their life bars and my job is to fuck them up uh I'm playing as like I said Zhao Yun who's a member of he actually wasn't even in these battles uh now he was this is based off of like History or just a story? Well, it's funny because, like, a lot of this shit did happen. Some of these characters really did exist. Like, uh, like most of them actually existed. How they died might have might have changed in the story. You see, a guy, uh, I can't remember the creator of the book's name, but he created books, or the book Romance of the Three Kingdoms. Yeah. And the book is based off of, it, it's... Loosely based off the of history. So a lot of these guys really did fucking exist. Uh, and, like, the, the story's pretty accurate, too. Like, on some of the stuff. Um, like, the Yellow Turban Rebellion really did happen. Uh, the way the whole thing ends really did happen. Basically, what ends up... Ha like, there's a bunch of uh, rulers in China at this point, and they're all kind of broken up into prefects and think of like states yeah and they all work still for the emperor the chinese emperor who was i think a child at this time who really didn't have any fucking power so a lot of people didn't even like look into it they're like fuck it 
So, so uh, all these different little rulers, you know, came together when the Yellow uh, Turban Rebellion came about to basically quell it. Um, the big two, the big three names though that came out of it were Cow Cow, who is it's really pronounced Zhao Zhao, uh, uh, and he's it, it's pronounced like General So. Okay. General So's chicken. That's how okay. you pronounce it. Uh, Sun Jian, who, his family, like he, he goes through some shit, and Lu Bei. Uh, Lu Bei is probably he's like the downtrodden hero through the whole thing, because the guy just goes through some real shit. Uh, and since we're playing the Shu army, we're gonna find out a little bit more about that as we play. Uh, and this is, like I said, this is Yao Yun. He is a badass. Um, now, do they <clears throat> do they complete the story in this one? Yeah, the well, it's the way the, the the way the stories are set up. You can play as a story from Shu, Wei, and Wu, the three big fucking kingdoms out of uh, the the Romance Three Kingdoms. Um, and now this is Romance, or and this is a uh, Dynasty Warriors Four. So I think they're up to eight right now on the 360. Yeah, and they've re they've actually introduced another kingdom, which was uh, I think Jin. Uh, I'll get into that a little later about who they are. I was gonna say if they finish the story in this, what? Why are there more games? Well, because it's a cash cow. Okay, they just keep retelling. They the story. they pretty much just retell the story over and over. Um, they add new characters. Okay. Um. They they add new characters that some of them did have historical, like, fucking roles to play in this whole thing. Some of them, not so much. And some of these characters, like, straight up just die in the story? Uh, yeah. Like, uh, Zhao Yun, I think he's... I think he gets lucky. I think he dies of old age, really. Before, before the, com like, before the Three Kingdoms, you know, is actually won. Yeah. Uh... As far as I remember, Wei, Wu, and Shu, none of them actually unified China. It's a uh, Jin, which, like I said, I'll get into that a little later. Uh, so yeah, this is. See, so, and and these guys, like when you're first playing, these guys think they're sorcerers and shit. So he thinks he's what? I don't know how to really describe it other than people were stupid back then. So he would do a roll. Like, there's boulders falling right here, or fire trap or something. Uh -huh. They're basically using science and telling people it was uh, sorcery. Like, there's geysers here. Yeah. And he would tell people, oh, I'm fucking making the guy, you know, I'm making thing explosions from the ground. Because people are stupid. They're eating straw and living in huts. So... <laughs> Three hairs from being a baboon. Yeah. Uh... But no, actually, well, at this point, this was like uh, 120 AD, so people weren't retarded, but still superstitious. Yeah. Uh, and it was China, so you know, mythical creatures and shit. Well, so we just—that's just—that's just the human race, really. Yeah. So we just beat the first level. The dumb, panicky, scared animals. The one thing I do like about this game is uh, you level up and you get stronger based on your kill count based on killing officers and stuff like that you get items uh, and as you can see I've already leveled him up just a tad just so I didn't have to go into this like so he and get fucked up spear. and I have bodyguards I have some guys that follow me around and fight with me uh, so we're just gonna make a new save now, I know they took this engine and did like Gundam games and shit. yes they made Gundam games with this engine uh Koei did one piece with this. Um, um, basically, they took the gun... Zhang Jiao. That was the name of the uh, Yellow Turban Rebellion leader. Yeah, they took they took the Gundam model mm -hmm. from this game and basically put it in the Dragon Ball Z, too. They did? Mm-hmm. What game was that? The Tenkaichi series. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this, but flying and only one enemy. Okay, yeah. Because in the Gundam games, you could fly. yeah. So they just took that shit. And instead of fighting a mass army, you just fight. Yeah. Focus on one person. Which I didn't like. Really? Not really. Okay. Those games weren't... I liked, Yeah, the Tenkaichi games weren't the greatest. 
I like the Budokai series. That man right there, uh, Juge Leon, he he is a fucking nasty individual. I'll get into him a little later. Budokai series is just better, just the two people co-op. I mean, the not co-op, fucking old school 2D platform. I mean, 2D fighter. Yeah, I like that. It's simpler. So yeah, this uh, this game has a lot of fucking a lot of history behind it. Uh, and what the what I was saying before, you play like you play the whole story from all the kingdoms. Uh, the only thing, oh, there's I need that. Did they do like a creative character in these? Yes, there is a creative character. I thought so. I there's Shreff playing these one time, and he created the character. The creative characters pretty much just rip off the model of one of the characters that are already available. So, like, I'd be playing a different palette-looking guy mm. with Zhao Yun's moveset. Okay. Well, that's so That's kind of cool. I mean, it's, it's something. They have, like, I think three or four unique weapons. One is a gigantic bastard sword. Yeah, I remember seeing that when Shreff played. Uh, I, I was going to do a creative character and play through with that, but... I'd rather play a kingdom yeah, and do a couple different guys. Uh, Shreff seemed to like the storyline. From what I, he was explaining some of it to me. Yeah, the story is not it's not horrible. Um, with this game, though, you can play as when you do the shoe like I'm doing the shoe storyline. So as I'm going through, I can change characters up a little bit if I want. Like like I said, Zhao Yun was never here. Uh, the only three that were really here were Liu Bei. Guan Yu and Zhang Fei. The three of them actually like are the original leaders of Shu, and uh, they made an oath in the garden, in a, a peach garden, peach tree garden. Is that what I want to say? Peach tree? You know the the, the pink uh, blossoms. What are those? Cherry blossoms. Cherry blossom garden. About like, hey, we're gonna be brothers now, and we're adopting each other. When one of us dies, we all die. That kind of shit. Yeah. And they did that, and then they just said, you know what, hey, yellow turbans are attacking, let's go fuck them up. And because of that, they get some recognition, and I think the they get a little bit more land, because at that point, Liu Bei already, he had like one little city that he was in control of. Uh-huh. Uh, he's, they pretty much just call him, like, you'll hear it in this, uh, this level maybe, and a couple other ones. They're called. The, they're just referred to as the volunteer forces at this point because I like how they just stood there. Yeah. Well, those guys are archers and not firing at all. <laughs> yes, those guys are archers. They don't have. They don't really have much going on besides bow. Wait until he's literally run past us to fire the arrow. <laughs> so we're about to fuck up Paywon's shoe. And once he's dead, we'll start a new episode. Boom! 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 Like I've heard, uh, I mean, Shreff is very much into it, and you're very much into it. And not just, you know, Japanese lore of, like, well, this, this is Chinese. history. Chinese lore like this. Mm hmm But any real history. Yeah. In that sense, like, old civilizations, war, and shit like that. Mm -hmm. I'm not really my deal. I don't, I'm not really a big fan of it. Well, we'll talk more about it next time on Let's Lose.